Today we're going to paint our final op art designs. So if you need to finish drawing it out first, you can do that. Then before you get painting, if you would like, you can go over all of your pencil lines with a black crayon. This will really make it stand out and pop. We are going to choose one set of complementary colors for our painting. I'm going to choose violet and yellow for this example. I'm going to start at the top. That way, if I start at the bottom, when I start to paint up, I might get some of the paint on my arm. So you're going to start with one of your colors. I will start with violet. So I'm going to paint the top space violet. You're going to paint the outside lines outside of the hand every other color. So we're going to alternate between violet and yellow, violet and yellow. My next color after I use violet is going to be yellow. So I need to make sure that I rinse off my brush before I go in and pick up some yellow paint. And again, you're going to keep alternating until you get to the hand. You're still going to do violet, yellow, violet, yellow. And then we're going to stop and talk about how we're going to paint in the hand shape. The key to op art is showing contrast. Contrast is when you put two very different or opposite elements together. So part of how we're doing that is doing our complementary colors, which are opposites. Another way we're going to do that is we're going to paint the spaces in our fingers that overlap the outer lines the opposite color. So first I'm going to take my time. I'm painting around my fingers here. I'm not going to be painting over my fingers that overlap this line. What you're going to do once you get to the hand is that the line that is painted underneath the hand is going to be opposite from the line that's painted inside of the hand. So we've been alternating our colors back and forth. We're still going to continue to do that, but on the inside, it's going to be the opposite color. So if my line underneath is yellow, then the line where my fingers overlap the yellow is going to be violet. Let's try the second line. So I'm still alternating on my outer lines. So if this line's yellow, then my next line is going to be violet, just like I've been doing. The only difference is I'm painting around the fingers. I'm not painting over top of them, even though they look like they're a part of the same line. After you finish painting the outer line, you're going to go back in and paint the fingers. But remember, if your line is yellow underneath, your fingers over top will be violet. If your line's violet underneath, your fingers over top will be yellow. 